people claiming to be Christ. Second sign is found in Matthew 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled. Are you troubled by wars? And rumors of wars? Yes. Yes. But Jesus says, don't be in trouble. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Today, we keep reading, keep hearing, keep seeing in Facebook. All sorts of wars, right? What are the two wars that has erupted? Israel with Palestine. The other one? Russia and Ukraine. Any more war coming any more war coming up? China and Taiwan. Taiwan. Rumors of war. Any other? China and Philippines. Yeah. Who's right, who's wrong? <laughs> yeah. When it comes to war, everybody says they are right, right? Why is that so? Anybody? Why is it that every time there's war, the leader says we are right? Why? Power. Selfish reasons. Yes. Distraction. Every time Malaysia election comes, they always trouble Singapore. <laughs> they say, you buy our water so cheap and you sell back to us so expensive. Uh, they buy at seven cents. We, we buy at seven cents. We sell them back at 70 cents. <laughs> Ah, but actually, 70 cents, we still lose money. After cleaning, after doing all those things, we are still losing. Our cost is about 120. So, so but it's an excuse for them to distract for election. So politicians is about politics. Leaders of countries want to sh tell the tell their own people, we are. We are right. Okay. We are smart. smart. They don't say we are smart, but we are right. Pride. Pride is in the way. Eh? But Matthew 24 says, Rumors of war and wars, these are not the signs. The end is not yet. Number three, Matthew 24, verse 7, it says, For nations shall rise against nations kingdom against kingdoms and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places is this happening yes especially we just went through COVID pestilence huh? man-made or artificial man are you very sure yes. who admitted that it was man-made nobody. nobody but how do you know it's man-made Anthony, Anthony do his research. <laughs> but you still need a jab, right? Yeah. Huh? So now we are facing consequences of the yeah. jab. What are some of the consequences? That my dad died of a COVID complication. Yeah. Oh. What else? My sister just has uh, shingles. What? My sister, younger sister. Has shingles in Anan. <laughs> what's, what's that going to do with COVID? Well, the MRI and A. What, what is the main cause for the virus? What is this supposed to do? Huh? The COVID I minus. It affects yeah. your lungs. It affects your lungs. Remember the early stage? Yes. People could not breathe. Could not breathe. What else? Was the this a. And what is causing the hardness, uh, difficult breathing? Blood clots. Yeah. 
So, and by doing the jab, what does it do? You need the artificial protection, which normally we use our own natural immunity. immunity. So now you have to use artificial in immunity to fight artificial virus. virus. So when you don't have all sorts of other virus comes around like single shingles, it's very common. My my driver has shingles. Yeah, it's very common in Singapore, shingles. And DJ. Okay. So famine, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. These are the first three sorrows. False Christ, wars and rumors of wars, famine, pestilence, and earthquake. Are this the end of science? End of time science? The no. Bible says no. Yeah, not yet. It's end, not yet. end not yet. Now comes four difficult trials after the first three signs, which is very common even till today. The intensity may be more and more, but these are not supposed to be signs. Yes, who? Oh, yes. Our medical hospital say, please do it. Our pastor also say, please do it. Okay. Correct, pastor? Please go for your jab. Pfizer is the best. But a lot of our members don't agree. Uh, How many of you have gone for your jab? Raise your hand, raise your hand. Hey, got traditional. China one now. China. 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 Doesn't matter. Both, 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 both. both. Go for jab. For three. Four. Oh. Four. Four. Oh. Uh, my father got two. Two China. One. Yes. Uh, Pfizer. Ah. Uh. I also got China one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I have to pay money to get China one. Ah, China one, the second time, the first time, I already start feeling problems with blood clot. Second time, worse. Oh, so then blood clot here. Blood clot here. Blood clot somewhere else. Maybe your cause is the consequences of leaving all the jab. Only two jab. Third jab, I don't dare already. <laughs> I keep fighting, fighting the government. I don't want jab already. They say cannot. Singapore, I'm stranded in Singapore. Okay, four difficult trials. Matthew 24, verse 9 to 13. This deals with God's people, the Christians. Number four, persecution and death. Matthew 24, verse 9 says, Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Did that happen? Dark Ages, the Romans were persecuting Christians, and even today, are there persecutions? Yes. China. Yes. China, Muslim countries maybe, Middle East, Middle East. India. India, yeah, there are. Number five, offended and betrayed betrays and hated and there shall be many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another why why they hate Christians so much because you send for the truth what else jelly why do they hate Christians Dark cannot face light. In the presence of light, there's no darkness. Mm. What else? Sok Ching? Why do they hate? 
I, I can say I don't, I don't like you go your way. But why do they hate? They betray. Yeah, in the World War II, they hated the Jews. Why? Think they are too smart. So it's a war between good and evil, between Christ and Satan. So it is a force beyond us. We have, we cannot fight this war. We have to just quite quiet obey whichever side we are in. But many of us, but many of us want to step on two sides. We think we can conquer. Are you sure you can conquer? I think the underlying thing behind betrayal usually is jealousy. Jealousy, yeah. Satan is jealous of God. So, mm. you want to take what God has, right? Mm. So, number six, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. What's the big difference between false Christ and false prophet? Prophet didn't claim to be Christ, but they claim they claim that they have visions from God saying this and saying that. Are there plenty of this? Searching things uh, just yesterday, uh, uh, Seventh Day Adventist, Mrs. White is uh, we claim to be a prophet. Mrs. White is to be a prophet, right? Yeah, so we have a prophet. Her name is Ellen G. White. So why? How do you know whether it's a false? Obviously, that if there is a false prophet, there is a true prophet, right? So Cheng. So how do you test? Then they testify of Jesus. They, they test it. The One, they testify Jesus comes in the flesh. If any prophet says, no, he's a spirit form, or no, he doesn't, he's not, uh, he doesn't suffer on the cross, things like this, eh? false prophet. Second test? Huh? Which is? So, ayo, humble jumbo, speaking in tongue. Eh? <laughs> Right. So, what does that mean? They must follow the Bible. All right. Number three. Sorry. Uh, what is Isaiah twenty? Eight. What does that say? Isaiah eight twenty. To the law and to the testimony. So we must follow the law. We must follow the Bible. Okay. Number three. Test. Okay. So the, the thing they will come to pass. Ah. The prophecy that they predict, they get visions from, must come to pass. But if they come to pass and they don't lead you to God, it's also false. You need all the tests. Okay. So they always prophesy about bad things. Is that true? True? Ah, is it true? Generally true. Generally true, but not all the time, right? But generally true. Okay, fifth test. Pastor? Any more tests? By their fruits. You know. What type of fruits are we talking about? Yeah, which is what Bible text are we talking about? What is the fruit? Fruit of the spirit. If they don't bear the fruit of the spirit, there's no. They are not true prophet. Okay. Any more tests? I think these are basically what it is. Eh? So false prophet. Many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many, blind leading the blind. 
beware. So you must test to those tests, huh? Have to go test. What is the first one again? You must discern. You cannot just write them off and say, hey, they are false prophets. Oh, Seventh day Adventist has this prophet is cult. That is not a good way of it of studying. So what was the first test? Yeah. Okay. Happen, you know, oh. So normally, say, oh, yeah. Normally, at least fifty percent of the prediction comes through one. It's not hundred percent. So what it means is hundred percent. Yeah, it has to be hundred percent if it's come from God. We study all the Revelation, Daniel. Few thousand years later, still it fulfills. Okay. Second test. Remember second? Yeah, yeah. Quick, quick. Testify, that Testify that Jesus comes in the flesh. Not just the spirit, not the spirit. Okay, number three. Yeah, Job chain. Just now already said. Oh, by the fruit. By the fruit. Fruit. Whether they have the fruit of the spirit. Number four. They are scriptural based. They can, uh, if they say, oh, don't have to obey the Ten Commandments, don't have to do this, don't have to follow Christ, only believe you are safe, right? Yes. Yes, correct. So these are total, that means you need all the tests to verify whether the person is a prophet, true prophet or false prophet. You know our Lona? Dream dreams, you know. Yeah. All the time she dream dreams one. Can you recite one? Come forward. Shy 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 one. <laughs> She always tell me, oh, yesterday I have this dream. Huh? Dream of, dream of me that I will shit. I will what? <laughs> Plastic comes out. Huh? <laughs> she dreams and God gives her dreams to let her know what is to come. Quite immediate one. So she, because she is a widow, so God protects her specially. From harm and dangers. So? Yeah. Mm. yeah. God loves us or not? God loves his children or not? Yes. Yeah. So he will he will help us in our life, in our journey. Yeah. Not easy to have, be a widow with three children. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. God is very God loves uh, Lona very much. Yes. Correct or not, Lona? Yeah. Yes. Greatly beloved. Iniquity abound, lack of love. Matthew twenty four verse twelve says, and because iniquity shall abound, love of many shall wax cold. What is iniquity? Sin. Sin. Love of sin. Love of sin. Okay. So four difficult trials. What are they? You'll be in prison. You'll be even die, persecuted. Second? There will be false prophet. Number three? They will... How come the third one was not here? Hated by all... Yeah, betray. Number four, lack of the love will be wax cold. So these are four difficult trials. Then after that, there are four beginnings of the end. 
found in Matthew 24, verse 14 to 28. Number one, the most important to, to tell you have we crossed to the final stage is Matthew 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Does it say part of the kingdom, part of the world, part of the pe people, all the world? Why does God want to make sure everybody that's living will hear the gospel? Because he but says he what? To that it becomes a weakness. You cannot say, I have not heard. Yeah? I have not heard the gospel. I don't know who Jesus is for those who are living. Yeah? When Jesus comes, you say, I, who are you? <laughs> mm. Then shall the end come. Light of the world. Watch this. Light of the world. Son, take my light for others.
Abomination of desolation stand in the holy place. Matthew 24, 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. So it's not so easy to understand, right? You need to read and you need to and let him understand. Yeah? Look. 21, 20, Jesus told his disciple, And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with the armies, then know that the desolation thereof is night, night means soon. Then it's time to flee Jerusalem. Yes, enemies surrounded Jerusalem. Because the Christian believed the sign, sign Jesus told them, they fled Jerusalem before its destruction. So AD 66 was the first Jewish revolt which expelled the Romans from, the, from Jerusalem. AD 67, the Christians flee to Bela, foothills of the mountains, whatever. Okay? AD 70, the siege of Jerusalem where the temple was destroyed subsequently by the Roman soldier under Titus. So it was fulfilled. But just like today, if you don't know the signs and it comes, what will happen? So okay. You will perish with the rest. When the Jesus warned the, wanted the early Christians to do, when Jerusalem is being surrounded, he says, 16. Then let them which is in Judea flee into the mountains. When is it to, time to flee? No. no? When, when, when is it time to flee? When, 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 when was it? What did Jesus say here? When ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then ye know the desolation is soon. So in our days, when will, when will the temple be desecrated? Why is Sunday? Uh, why is the day of worship is the temple? Because today, yeah, in the, in the past, you go to the Jerusalem temple to worship, right? And if it's destroyed, it means they destroy the religion. Today, how do we worship God? How do we worship God? In spirit and in truth, specifically on His Sabbath day. Because He is the Creator, He's also the Redeemer. So he has designated this day to be worshipped, uh, to worship him. So any other day you go to worship, you're worshipping somebody else. Friday, when you go to church on Friday to worship, who are you? You're Muslim. If you go to church on Sunday and worship, You are worshipping the sun, sun god, and you are also worshipping the church, the, the, the church that changed the day, which is Roman Catholic Church. Okay. If you worship, I think Sok Ching was the one, huh? any day you can worship, when you worship every day, Chinese, Taoist. Taoists uh, worship every day. Early in the morning, before they start business, they have three jaw state. One jaw state is to worship who? Heaven. Heavenly God. One jaw state. That, where is the heavenly God place? Outside of the house. Second jaw state. They go inside. Oh. <laughs> they worship the the. 
at the altar is where the ancestors are. And the third joystick, they worship the kitchen god, which is God, hell, hell, hell. They worship hell, <laughs> god of hell. So they, they are very scared. They want to cover everything. Huh? Worship, make sure that God favor them, their ancestors favor them, the devil also favor them. Okay. Okay. So flee to the mountain. When, when the in Jeru in Jesus time after Jesus time is when Jerusalem is being surrounded. You know that time is end soon. Okay, in today's time it means, if you read Mrs. White's writing, she is referring to national U.S. National Sunday Law. When that is passed, you know the end is near. How near for Philippines? If, if U.S. pass the National Sunday Law, we will take this, uh, this, uh, this homosexual thing. Uh, uh, pass, pass in U.S., how long did it take to pass in Philippines? Or not yet passed? Not yet passed? Philippines? Passed or not yet? Don't know. LPGB. Uh, what? Not passed yet. How long did it take for Singapore to pass? Not long. Which is the first country to pass uh, after US? Nobody knows. Uh, so from this little thing, you know it's very quick. Not yet. It's National Sunday Law. But we are, we are encouraged to, be, to spend to be in the countryside. Because not flee, that is not called flee. That is move to the countryside. Make that clear. When National Sunday Law, you still don't refuse to leave city. What happened, Cherry? You'll be persecuted. So that time is flee. How long? How long does it take for shutdown of COVID? Very fast. Wuhan shut down in within, I think, two days or three days. And that was during the Chinese New Year, before Chinese New Year, where everybody is supposed to go, go back to their village to celebrate. But, that, but China government shut it down so that the spread is not there as fast. But it did spread, it still spread. So Singapore took maybe one month, two weeks. I know because when I packed up my bags from Thailand to go back to Singapore, I knew it would be shut down. Because, but I have no choice because my father is there. Yeah, because my two sisters, I know will not be able to come back from the US to take care. So I knew. So I packed my things, organized everything in Thailand, then I came. The minute I stepped into Singapore, pop, close. Close for how long? Two, two and a half years. Oh. So flee to the mountains. Number two, leave the cities and village immediately. Example, uh, the COVID. Why there's an urgency, you know. You know, to me, uh, COVID is uh, God's and uh, is Satan's uh, tryout. Uh. You know, before he does anything serious, he wants to try out yeah. whether whether pilot run, pilot, run. We, pilot run whether he can lock down the whole world. So did he succeed? Yes. Yeah, he succeeded. Lock down the whole world. Yeah. So for those of us who saw so, saw, so, uh, <laughs> blur blur. Uh, <laughs> so we learned that hey, government is good. Lock down us. Lock us down is good. Yeah. 
乖乖 ，Let him which is on the house top not come down to take anything out of his house. Is that very urgent? Yes. Yeah, it's very urgent. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. Urgent? Who say? Uh, who 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 say take go back? Ah, Anthony, right? Go back to take my bicycle. <laughs> Yeah, you make sure you. <laughs> All right. Take nothing with you. It will be great difficulty for women with child, and all unto them that are with child, and to them give sucks in those days. You have ch little children. It's tough, right, to run to the mountains. Even for yourself, it's really tough. What more for your children, and unborn baby? And Jesus says, pray, pray for two things. Pray, pray. Number one, that is not in the winter. If it's in winter, you have hard time surviving in the mountains. Second, pray that it will not be on Sabbath day. If Sabbath is not important, will Jesus ask us to pray? It will not be on Sabbath day. That means Sabbath is very important. So, no, pray that it will not be. If you don't pray, it will be on Sabbath. So, what do you think? If you don't pray and it lands on Sabbath, what happens? Huh? Will you run or you don't want? Pastor, pastor, pastor. Ah, if you don't pray, that it will not be on Sabbath, and it ends on Sabbath, the Sunday law. Most likely, it will be on Sunday, Saturday, right? So that you won't running. So, to run or not to run. To run or not to run? How many? How many? Raise your hand, huh? How many think we can run on Sabbath? Raise your hand. Okay. How many think we should not run on sa Sabbath? <laughs> so two of you different. <laughs> so how many of you don't know? How many of you not sure? Ah, see, Satan knows what to do. So only those who says can run will run. Okay, uh, the rest of you will will be. No. <laughs> will be locked down. Okay. What did Jesus try to say? When, obviously, he wants us to keep the Sabbath. Yes. But if we don't pray, God cannot intervene. Am I correct? Intercessory prayer. Yeah. If we don't pray, God cannot intervene. When we pray, God can take action and make sure it's not on Sabbath day. Obviously, if we want to pass a pass a law that will that will kill all the Sabbath keeper, what day? So obviously, it will be on Saturday, right? Because then you wonder, hey, can I run or can I run? So only five of you decided you can run. <laughs> ah, Friday, but. Remember the lockdown or COVID? How many of you ran out of the city? I went into the city, yeah. Okay. How many of you ran out of the city? None, right? Very, very. It's very tough to make that type of decision last minute. So better go to countryside first. Go to where 
Yaksen so he can rest. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It sounds like it's only for the Jews to run. Okay. So what does abomination of desolation mean for us today? Since there is no more Jerusalem temple, then abomination that causes desolation has to do with spiritual rather than physical. And the issue deal with worship of the God of Israel being defiled and desecrated by the world power during the biblical times. Today it has to do with the day of worship being trampled upon. Thus the seven day Sabbath will become an important issue that will differentiate God's people with the rest of the world. Clear? Understand? Okay. Yes. So Mrs. White has this to say, the time is not far distance when, like the early disciples, who are the early disciples? The apostles, the early Christians, we shall be forced to seek a refuge in desolate and solid, solitary places. As the siege of Jerusalem by the Roman armies was the signal for flight of the, to the Judea Christians, so the assumption of of power on the part of our nation, the United States, in the decree enforcing the paper Sabbath will be a warning to us. It, it will then be time to leave the large cities preparatory to leave the smaller ones for retire homes in secluded places among the mountains. If you are not already in the countryside, you, you have to jump to 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 Instead of going to the countryside, you already go to the mountains. If you are in the countryside, you still have to go to the mountains. Why mountains, Pastor? Why so difficult? Why mountains? At that time, National Sunday Law. It's a place. God doesn't prepare the nature for you. No. <laughs> you run to the forest. <laughs> okay. Why? The earth. Huh? God owns the earth. Ah. Who owns the earth? God. Who created the earth? God. God. That's his territory. Who owns the cities? Owns the cities? Satan. Satan owns the city. So if God says, I want you to go to the mountains, I will protect you there. And you remain in the city. Who are you seeking protection from? Satan. From Satan. From your own self. That's why I cannot buy, cannot sell, you will give up. At that point of time. Because can you survive in the city without buying, selling? No. Pastor, can or not? Cannot. Even AUP cannot survive. Make sense? Yes. You, what it means is you believe in God 100%. You don't even go back to your home to get things right. Flee. So, so we are at total mercies of God. In total faith, you depend on God for your sustenance. God promised, I will give you basic bread and water, you will survive. Now, Elijah, when he went to the mountains, was that, was that given to him? Yes. God says, you go to that place, there's a stream of water. And who brought the food? The raven. The raven. So why you worry, Sokcheng? Can, can God drop manna for you? Yes. As you have seen, huh? God can drop manna. So, it is not for us to worry how are we going to survive in the mountain. It's for us to worry, do we have, are we, uh, yeah. Do we have faith that God will protect us in the mountains? 
Mm, at that point of time, when it's Sunday nat national Sunday law already is in place, you are you remain in the city. Has the not long after that, do you think the spreading of the gospel has finished? National Sunday law is passed. Do you think there's no more probation is closed already or not? Is probation closed? Not yet, but very soon. But has it closed for Seventh-day Adventists already? Yes or not? So, judgment starts from house of God and goes out. So, so it starts from Seventh-day Adventists first. If we believe we are the remnant church of God. If we already know the truth, we should start with us. Yeah. So, it will close. Then the shaking will come, right? After the shaking, those who remain will be the outpouring of the Holy Spirit will be upon those who remain and they will go out and finish the work. Very short. The shaking is caused by two things. What are the two things, Pastor, you know? The the shaking of God's church will be caused by two things. The shaking. You know, they will come. Mrs. White talks about the church will be shaken. Those who are not ready will be shaken out. Those who remain. It, Mrs. White talks about two reasons. Lukewarm is throughout the whole whole duration is all lukewarm. But there are two reasons. Anybody? Cocto? Ah, is in one of her earliest book. No, select. I think it's called Selected Message, uh, Volume One. Or oh, not Selected Message, Early Writings. That was the first first book she wrote uh, that's, that begins the Great Controversy books series. <coughs> Which is? Now the Spirit speaketh expressively that in the last time some shall depart from the faith, giving key to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Yeah, that is, that is a different way of saying. She say, okay, so that we don't waste too much time. Two things. Number one is when the plain truth is start preaching in God's church, the, the primitive preaching. start preaching, start. primitive godliness is start preaching, primitive godliness. That means go back to the basics, Bible based doctrines, Bible based preaching. You notice my preaching? The word of God is powerful. I, I, all my sermons are never my own, own opinion. It's always the Bible based. Then I just expound on it. Yeah, it's powerful. The sermons are powerful. So, plain, what was it? primitive godliness is being preached, being shared. Then, then there will be two camps. One camp say too hard. One can say, good. So it will split the church, actually. And what causes further split is the National Sunday Law. The Sunday Law comes, you have to make a decision. Yeah, cannot buy, cannot sell, it's not death penalty yet. Huh? Cannot buy, cannot sell, it's not a death penalty. It's one of the early, early implementation. So if you cannot buy, cannot sell, and you are not ready, what will happen? You will stay put. Compromise. Compromise. So when you start compromising, what will happen to your thinking? You will start criticizing, start persecuting God's people. That's where the, call, the split, the shaking will ha happen. Okay, so... I'm diverting. 
So those who are in the big cities, when that happens, flee to the mountains. Those who are in the countryside, also flee to the mountains, where God can protect you. Because the cities, just like Babylon, God does not want us to actually dwell in the cities. Why? Eh? Why doesn't God want us to dwell in the cities? Because just now we say it's controlled by Satan. Satan. We study also Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes. So we have been here how, how long already, AUP? Transfer from the cemetery to here. How long? Seventy nine, eighty nine, ninety nine, two oh nine, two almost thirty five years. Before that it was rural. Yeah. Satan wants to control uh, uh, so Satan start coming. Okay. Wherever you see, yeah. Uh, so you move further. But sometimes we stay put because too much at stake. <laughs> we stay put. Same in uh same in, uh, you know, Ceylon, the SSD used to be also rural. Oh. Yeah. So, Satan know what to do. Lah. Okay. <laughs> you, you have to be a nomad mentality. Whenever, so, for me, I stay in Thailand, Mok Lake, small town, 70, 80,000 people. It's countryside. But after 20 years, the Air Force decided to be there. So I've moved further out, another 10 kilometers, my Spanish village. <laughs> and, and, and that Spanish village has how many people staying? 100? 11, 12 kilometers away only. <laughs> okay. So. We are nomads. Once we have too much possession with us, we will stay put one. Very hard. Am I correct? Yeah. Now today, if, any, if I say, today, if, if God tell you, today, I will destroy Singapore, how many of you will move out of Singapore? <laughs> uh? <laughs> See, Henry will stay put. Sokjing will stay put. <laughs> Dong will stay put, right? Megan will stay put. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So you see, you see the seriousness of our mental block. Very few. Let me tell you. I I, I stay stay in Mok like twenty years already. I asked my friend, please come and visit. Only I don't stay yet. How many people, How many actually visited? doesn't matter. I say, come and visit me, okay? How many of my friends actually visited me in 20 years? Very few. Can count by hand, you know? No. Oh. The story goes that before the Holocaust, the Jews were given many chances to leave. Mm. Yeah, before Holocaust. They still don't want to leave. That is... We are lazy people, you know. Human beings are lazy people. Very comfortable with comfort. Comfortable. Oh, Jerry, very comfortable, right? <laughs> comfort zone. So very hard. So you must learn to obey what God wants you to do. Sometimes God wants you to do very strange things. I have experience after experience. God asks me to do strange, strange things. Yet I say, yes, sir. I just do. Because his ways are higher than our ways. Yeah, we, sometimes we think it's terrible. He asks you to do something like that. So, I, I say I retired when? When I was 32 years. Do you think I, I choose to retire? Kokto, at 32 years old, do you think I choose to retire? Too early. Too early. That time was, I was the peak of the first peak. You think I will retire? No. Okay. 
But I pray, uh, I, I didn't pray, okay. <laughs> when I was uh, in my 20s, I set a goal for my life. I say when I turn 30, I want to make $10 million by the, by the age of 30 so I can retire. Do you think God heard that prayer? <laughs> Not prayer, heard that statement. He heard. So at 32, I achieved it. And God forced me out. <laughs> <laughs> By force. So I, I, I struggle, I complain. Okay. <laughs> How can? Okay. <laughs> so now, yeah, he fulfilled at 30 and 10 million. So still don't want to retire, huh? What is this? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, like Beth, huh? <laughs> Beth yesterday say, I prayed for 15 years. Today was his, her 15 years. Yes. She wants to pray for another 15 more years. We never satisfied. <laughs> so, we must be obedient. Learn to be obedient. The people who go to heaven has two characteristics, main characteristics. What are they? They deny themselves. They deny themselves. Okay. Oh, our law abiding, huh? What else? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, first is you must be obedient. You must have faith in God. You must trust Him fully and follow His way, His will. Second, deny yourself. Huh? What does that mean? Deny yourself. That's very tough, right? That's very tough, huh? Is there an easier way? <laughs> today. I'm saying today. Ah, you and me. Okay, today. Don't talk about past, yeah? What are the two things that God is waiting for us to be ready? Obedient and... So how can we be ready when we don't means don't know. <laughs> huh? Obedient and love. Unconditional love. Both. <laughs> Unconditional love. You know, the whole universe works on the unconditional love, except the earth. The earth works on selfishness. Even the love of the earth, who, who has the highest love on this earth? Besides Jesus. Mothers. Mothers love for their child. Is unconditional to the child, but not, con not unconditional to other people's child. Correct? So is that selfish or not selfish? Still selfish. That's still selfishness. So that's the highest already. So we can never reach God's standard, love your enemies, without the change of heart, right? Without God, the Holy Spirit came in and changed our heart from a heart of stone to a heart of flesh. flesh. It's not possible. We are... So the whole universe works on unconditional love. Then with the unconditional... Think, think about it. With unconditional love, can the universe exist forever? Think about it. If everybody has this unconditional love, can the universe last forever? Yes. Peace. Peace. There will be loving one another, loving God with all our heart, love one and others as ourselves. But the world works on what? What system does the world work on? Prosperity. No, 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 no. 
No, no. Works on self, selfishness. Protect ourselves. Then how does Satan use this to 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 control? He used four 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 things. Power, money, sex. Sex is last la. Sex is last la. Okay, he used money. He used power. He used fame. Fame, 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 and he used he used what? Different. Fame means you want to be famous, like Jackson, oh. <laughs> want to be famous? What about power? I want to be president of AUP. That's power. What about uh, lust? Oh. Okay. And what about what's the last one? Money. Love of money is the root of all evil. So Satan uses four to try to keep the world going forever. Can, did it work? Yes. No. No, it didn't work. All the empire come, rise and then fall, rise and then fall, rise and then fall. So, so God has allowed Satan to prove himself that he's right. His system of self-governing is correct. So is it correct? Is it correct? Has it been proven to be able to last forever? Yes or no? No. No. No, including church organization. No organization, no companies, no institutions, no religion, religion no political power, no countries can last forever. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah, it comes up and then go down. It comes up and then go down. So... That, that proven without doubt that selfishness does not work. Yeah. Yeah. Then China comes up and say, "Oh, we are the way. Follow me." Okay. But is China way correct? No. Not necessary. Hmm. Okay. So understand. God is waiting for you and me to develop two things. What is the one? Obedient. Second? Unconditional love. Actually. Faith. Okay. All right. So let us all be ready. If you want to be ready, is, is, is Jesus waiting for us to be ready or we are waiting for Jesus to come? He is waiting for us to be ready. Yeah. Waiting for us to help preach the gospel. Based on his two principles, do you think where you stand? Far from China. So, if we are far from, what about the world? No chance at all. So, is it difficult for for... Is it difficult for God to find one person who has these two characters? Very difficult. And he's waiting for, that's why this 144,000 could be an absolute number. Because it's so difficult, right? Oh, so difficult. How many people went into the ark? Eight. Eight. How many people went to the, went to the Canaan? Ah, Sodom and Gomorrah? Three. Three. So it's very difficult for God to look for people to be sealed. It's not that easy. But is, is it possible? Yes. Remember uh, when he, one young rich, young rich man, young rich young man, ruler. young rich ruler, he walked away sad, and then they say, then Jesus made a statement. It's harder for rich men, rich men to enter than the camel to enter the eye of the needle.
Then they will shock the disciples. They say, then who it will be safe? No, what did Jesus say? With God, all things are possible. So it's not possible by our own effort we can get to heaven. We think we can. There's no way. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> easy, very easy. Remember, remember the how to climb up the mountain? Cable car. Oh, remember. <laughs> God provided us a cable car. We don't want to ride, we want to climb. <laughs> Easy or not? With the Holy Spirit, all things are possible. And when the abomination of desolation is today, Rome, as its latest phase, shall have gathered to her principles and under her influence, how many nations? All the nations. And when by example and power and influence of the United States, the abomination of desolation shall have done this only the more effectual, effectually. That means Rome, that's talking about Church of Rome, wanted to do this, US supports it. And is it easy? Easy. This abomination that causes desolation. And when by the power thus regained the abomination of the desolation shall have accomplished once more and finally for her to scatter the power of the holy people. When is scattering? The shaking. And shall have made as effectual as possible the rejection of the Sabbath of the Lord. And it, in that the Lord of the Sabbath, then it is written, all these things shall be finished. Time of the end. Very, very close. I have another study. Revelation 17 and 18. Another day. And as the power of, will be universal, so the destruction will be universal. And this at the coming of the Lord shall be abomination of desolation. And the man of sin, this mystery of in iniquity is to be consumed with the spirit of his mouth and is to be destroyed with the brightness of his coming, Jesus' coming. Eh? And this is why it is the des destruction of Jerusalem is instructed, instructive of warning to all the people of the world today. And it, this is why it is the destruction of Jerusalem is a sign among the, uh, the other signs of the coming of the Lord and the end of the world. That's why she is a prophet. That's why she is a prophet. Is, do you think it's her own, own thinking? No. This is 100 over years ago. Mm. Let us look at what has happened in the last few years and how will these events eventually unite today's fragmented world to stand on the side of US and Vatican. Uh, so all this destruction causes what? Causes the world to fear, want to protect themselves. And they are not on God's side, so they have to be on whose side to get protection? Satan. Satan. And on their own two feet. Do you think Satan knows this? He caused a lot of havoc. Because remember, the four wings of strife is held back by the angels while God's people are being sealed. Once his seal is completed, what happened, Pastor? 
once the people of God is sealed, what will happen? The angels will no longer hold back the wind of strife. That means Satan has full control of this world. Restricted freedom. COVID had prepared the general public to accept lockdown, right? Accept vaccination, even though it doesn't work, etc. for conditional freedom. Am I correct? Yes? Oh, Singapore, you don't go and get the jab, cannot go out to buy things. Cannot go to hawker centre to eat. Restaurant cannot also. Cannot work. Cannot be a doctor. Yeah, so we are trading our health for, for conditional freedom. Cannot buy or sell. US has, has been successful in imposing sanctions on China and other countries that do not agree with its policies. This, this, pa this pa paved the way for US to be able to easily sanction religious group who keeps the Sabbath holy. Same principle. When, you, when Russia uh, attacked Ukraine, all the Russians' accounts got freezed. Not just the government accounts. Frozen everybody who, are, who is Russian. Yeah. So do you think it's easy for, for, for government to sanction a Christian group? You see, China, at the push of button today, we are all digital already. Yeah. Freezing of assets. Perhaps the Russia-Ukraine war had prepared the world to fear U.S. freezing any people's bank. Or capturing of people in jail. Condemned Sabbath keeper. The young people of the world are very secular. Am I correct? Yes. And currently condemning Israel for attacking Palestine. Is that correct? Yes or no? Correct. Correct. On the wrong side condemn the wrong people. Actually, both sides are wrong. <laughs> Perhaps Satan is also preparing the world to ultimately condemn Sabbath keeper, like what he is doing to Israel. Can you see the transition? At this moment, they are attacking Israel for attacking Palestine. But actually, Israel has a right to attack Palestine, right? They they have been bombing, bombing Israel. They have been kept quiet. But now, all of a sudden, Israel say, no more. I go and fight you. Then the whole world, especially young people, against Israel. So now they are not talking about Sabbath yet. But who are Israel known for? Sabbath keeper. Can you see the, can you see the transition? So easy to transit. Oh, since Israel is wrong and he's Sabbath keeper, all Sabbath keepers are wrong. Yeah. Or association. Yeah. Association. Yeah. But Orthodox Jews are Sunday keeper. Mm. In Israel. Yeah, yeah. Orthodox Jews, yeah, in, is Sabbath keeper. But I'm saying it's very easy to to condemn Israel as a war aggression. So to say, hey, their, their, their main character is, set them apart is they are Sabbath keeper. Mm. So it's easy to change the law like that or change the mindset of people. Is Satan paving the way for, for his ultimate control of the world? What do you think? Yes. yes, forcing the whole world to worship him on the false Sabbath. Why Satan is interested in using Sabbath? Satan only don't want people to worship on Sabbath. But why Sunday is used? Because he wants to be like the most high. He wants to be Satan. So he wants to be worshipped by God. The people are worshipping God. 
Okay? So it has to do with worship. He wants to be worshipped by the whole world. He has to choose a day. Because God chose a day. God chose a day, Sabbath. So he has to choose a day for everybody to worship him. So what day is most convenient for him to choose? Why is it most convenient? It's the Lord's day. It's the, yeah. So any day actually he can... So how many, how many Muslims are there in the world? 1.2 billion. How many Catholics are there in the world? 1.2 billion. How many Sabbath keepers are in the world? How many, how many absolute numbers? Pastor? Seventh-day Adventists, 30. Jews, maybe 9, 10. About 30, 50 million, you can count. Versus, on the left side, 1.2 billion. And the, on the right, 1.2 billion plus Protestant, another 1 billion. So, do you think you are sandwiched? Buddhists can worship any day. Yeah. Hindus can worship any day. So it's not an issue. <laughs> so, so uh, when Pope Francis came to power, I was thinking, we, all this while when we were young, we pastor, correct? We think that, oh, uh, the Roman Catholic Church will be very fierce, right? But came Pope Francis, very gentle, huh? Yeah. What is significant about him coming to Singapore this month? This month. What is so significant about Pope Francis visiting Singapore? Such a small country. Okay, we are a rich country. What else? You know, he's wheelchair bound now. Uh. No, in the world map, you put a red dot on Singapore is bigger. The red dot is bigger than the island. Why does he want to bother to go and visit Singapore? Because we are central towards the Asian north. We are the one that's west. Well, Batam Island is also central, what? Okay, it's significant financial center. What else? On religious ground, why? Don't, don't talk about economy. Economy is US, huh? Religious is the Vatican. You are a friend of the US. We are multinational. We have the Malay, we have the Indians, we have the Chinese. They are the three great religions. Yeah. So by coming to Singapore at this time, coming to Singapore at this time, very end of his life already. Huh? That uh, he says, see, I can come. Nobody will object. Yeah. Yeah. So by coming to Singapore, financial is in, has no problem. Singapore don't, don't, don't want trouble. A lot of money is parked there in Singapore. So financial is, is south. Religion, you have the Muslims, you have the Hindus, you have the Chinese, and you have the Christians. All in one small little country. And they all welcome, all welcome the Pope come. Am I correct? Nobody will oppose. So that, that signal to the world, that signal to the world. Catholic means universal. Yeah. So Singapore actually is universal in religion and it's cosmopolitan. Yeah. So it's really a, a model of yeah. <coughs> So do you think the time of the end is almost here already? Yes. It's already here. Yeah. And then all eyes looking at us because we have done all the vaccines to all our obedient people. But <laughs> Singapore is not, not the first time, you know, because Donald Trump came during the 
No, we are talking about Vatican, ah. Correct. So, so, so Pope Francis chose now to come because everything is in control already. Huh? Correct. Okay. The religious entity Satan will use to promote the Sunday law is the Roman, the Pope, the environment, the Sunday law. So the Pope is for the Catholic Church. The environment is for non-believers. The Sunday law is for Protestants. <laughs> so he has control. The Pope environment and Sunday law. For years, Vatican has been promoted the Pope's laudato. Is that how you spell? C. Message. This plan designed to encourage. This plan designed to encourage strategic actors to commit to achieving total sustainability with Pope Francis' environmental advocacy as a guide kicked into gear this year, 2021. Pope Francis said, humanity has a duty to future generation to overcome selfishness, indifference and irresponsible habits, asking the faithful to respect what? Creation, Creation and inaugurate a lifestyle and a society that is finally eco-sustainable. According to the Vatican officials, the plan is designed to be seven years long because of the biblical significance of the number seven. Year one is a planning year, followed by five years of environmental action. And finally, the seventh year will be a sabbatical year dedicated to praise and thank God. When will that be? No, 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 no. It doesn't mean that. <laughs> okay. The idea is to begin with Catholic churches and organizations and then bring into other churches and organizations, ultimately involving the whole world. Integral to the plan is the mandatory weekly, weekly day of rest. The Pope's encyclical call for Sunday to be implemented as a weekly day of rest to save the environment 2020, uh, December so you understand? so for those who don't believe in any religion they believe in the environment they don't want to destroy the environment, right? they become vegetarian because of they want to protect the environment what does Jesus want us to do when the U.S. National Sunday Law is passed? Matthew 24, 16 to 30. Flee into mountain. Leave the city and village immediately. Take nothing with you. Great difficulties for women with child. Pray that it will not be winter and Sabbath day. So number 10. So this is the longest prophecy. Sabbath. Number 10. Great tribulation will start after God's precious souls are being sheltered and protected. Where? In the, In the mountains. So if you don't flee, you face the seven last plagues. It's already sealed. You already done your work. After you finish your work, God says, go to the mountains. Yeah, 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 they already sealed. The reason why go to the mountain, another reason is the work is done. So God wants to protect you. <laughs> Up to you. 
between you and God. Okay. Matthew 24, 21 says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not seen the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. So, does, if you study seven last week, is it easy to pass? So, between going to the mountains or facing the seven last plague, which one do you prefer? Young people. Young people. Young people. Between going to the mountains or facing the seven last plague, which one is easier? Mountains. Are you sure? Sure, huh? Ah, but we okay. heard that uh, during those times we will receive the Holy Spirit. This is just we will receive the Holy Spirit, and when they cut us, we won't feel any pain. That's what they said. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we Whose doctrine is this? Whose doctrine is this? No. No. Not in E.G. White's writing. Not in the Bible. So, theology student, please study your your Bible carefully. Ah, we we obviously wants to have an easy life. Am I correct? Yeah. You want an easy life. I also want an easy life. Correct? Correct? So Ching? Yeah. But at that point of time, there's no easy life for anybody. So you have to choose. You want to go to the mountains or you want to face the seven last plague. That time nobody dies, yeah? God's people don't die one. That's what you... From, from, from what you are saying... It's not that we don't get killed, but God protects us from being killed. Because no point getting killed. This is what I say. There's no point at that point of time to be killed. Salvation is already decided. You are safe or you're not safe. So no point sacrifice being, being a martyr at that time. Uh, make, make sense? Understand? Understand? Yes, yes. Oh, that is the right doctrine. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so so my question is raise your hand. Huh? Who wants to be in the mountains? Oh. Ronaldo wants to be in the mountain. <laughs> Who wants to be in the mountains when that time comes? Who don't want? Who wants to be in the plains and face the seven last plague? Lona wants. She never raised her hand. <laughs> It's up to God, not up to you. You're Filipino. <laughs> there are many mountains. <laughs> We've just been to one, Baguio. <laughs> yeah. the, the right question is not to ask, where can I run to? The right answer, remember, God is waiting for you to, 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 to be ready for two things. Faith. Faith and love. Unconditional. Faith. Faith means you are connected to God. God will tell you, go where? Then you say, yes, sir, I go there. You have to learn to listen to God's voice. Yes. Tune in to 95.6. Those who are already in the mountain, they are not saying any love. Yeah. Not necessary, not necessary. Whether you, you must be sealed with two, two conditions. What is the two conditions? Unconditional love. No, no, no. That is not the issue, huh? Not necessary. Yes? Those who are in the mountains, 
those who are in the mountains, do they know they are saved? My question? Do they know they are saved? <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. They, that's why the Jacob's trouble is mentioned. Those who are in the mountains will struggle whether they any sins not confessed. They don't know they are saved. They are struggling because enemies are attacking, are attacking. So need a, they need like Jacob's trouble. Jacob, plead for his life because his brother tomorrow would kill him. Same thing. We, those who are in the mountains are still struggling. There's no time in our life. Okay, let's say example. Uh, do you smoke? Me? Yes. No. Have you ever smoked? Once, yes. Once, uh, once at least good. Who has smoked and give, give up smoking? Anybody? Drinking. Ah. Uh, drinking. Who has drank? Drinking. drinking. And give up drinking. Yes. So is it easy? Is it easy for you to go back to drinking? No. no. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> because you're a theology student, the harder. Yes, easy. Yeah, easy. But you have to resist the temptation. Yeah. Those who take drugs. Do you think it's easy for them to go back to drugs? Yes. Yes. So we have 6,000 years of corruption. Yeah? 6,000 years of corruption. And we have to resist every temptation. And we cannot do it by ourselves. We need the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit makes it easy. Cable car only. Cable car. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Tribulations will be shortened. And expect those days should be shortened. There should be no flesh saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Hmm. If you were to study the seven last plate. Oh, terrible. Nobody will, including God's people, will not be, cannot make it. You know what is the seven last plate? Have you studied the seven last plate? Not yet. First one is boys. Already very tough, right? Like Job. If you have Job's boy, uh, do you, are you happy? Are you happy? Can you survive? Oh. Second? Sun. Not yet. Sea will turn red. All the fishes die. No milk fish to eat. No fish, no seafood. Third, water, river. No drinking water. Did that happen during Egypt's time? Yes. Yeah. They have to do what? To get water. Dig well. Used to be, they can use from the river now. They have to dig well. Then, fourth, the sun. Scorching. Hot. No animal to eat. No plants to eat. No, even if you are vegetarian, no food to eat. You think it's serious? Yeah. Did, did God warn us already? Yes. So if you are in Baguio, up in the mountain, easy or not? Different. You got tree under the tree. One tree is five air corn. Huh? When the scorching sun comes to you, very tough. Number six. Number five. Number five. River Euphrates dries up. What does that mean? Making, making ways for the kings from the east. What does that mean? River, water stands for what? People. Multitude, people. Dry up means what? Die. You know, by 4th 
by fourth plague, many would have perished. So, what is famous for Euphrates River? Huh? What is famous? Euphrates River is famous in the Bible for what, Pastor? Babylon. Yeah, River Euphrates run right in, right into city of Babylon. <coughs> Was there a time that the River Euphrates dried up? What happened? So Middle Persia diverted the river so they can go in and conquer Babylon. The city fell in one night. <coughs> so here it says the river Euphrates which is run through Babylon is dried up making way for the kings from the east. Who comes from the east? China. No. <laughs> Who comes from the east? Jesus says, my coming is like lightning from the east to the west. So, Jesus will be coming, making way for Jesus to come. But here it says kings is a plural, it's not a singular. It's a plural. Who are the kings from the east? Jesus and who? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and the whole heaven, all the angels, making way for the kings from the east to come. How, how, how long is the silence in heaven? How long is the silence in heaven? Half an hour, 15 days, silent in heaven, no noise. Everybody will have come to receive who? You. Receive me? Receive who? Saints. Those, those people who are already in the mountains. <laughs> okay. Okay, the Lord Churches teach that the kings of the East are Russia and almost not China. Yeah. Okay. So the next plague is? What is number two? Uh? River. Ooh, C, C. First one is uh, everybody who have boys. Second, no no seafood. Third, no water. Fourth, no no cows, no food to eat already. No, if you are vegetarian, also no grains, nothing to eat. Fourth one, scorching sun is the fourth. Fifth is darkness. Sorry. Is it darkness? Uh? Darkness? I missed one. Darkness where? No. In the city. In the city. Darkness in that city. Vatican. Have you, ha, has it happened in uh, so dark? Has it happened in the earth history? It was so dark that... Uh, so hard that... So hard that, uh, so dark that uh, you fear the darkness. Two times happened in the biblical history. One time is, one time is, Egypt. It was pitch dark until they don't dare to come out. You light the candle, you don't see the light also. Second time happened when Jesus was nailed to the cross at the last hour there was pitch dark until they feel that end of the world is here it was so dark so fearful so it will happen again darkness yes so regardless of you saying or not saying everyone will experience yeah of course but one is under the protection of God the other one is no protection of God.
than to experience this. Because if we experience this, is the, the already part of the unsane part. I don't understand your question. Repeat. Repeat. Why are you talking about this? Like, uh, if we uh, experience this, let's say, for example, first of the seven bowls. Yeah. First of the seven bowls of Brahma, the seven last legs, you are on the side of those people that we say. So mm. let's be mindful of that and be careful. Okay, the seven last play is banned for the sinners. No, the first one is uh, general, everything. Okay, so the question is, what happened to God's people during that period of time? What happens to the sinners during that period of time? Am I correct? Correct. So it happens simultaneously. Okay? God's people are in the mountains being protected by God. And they are struggling with their salvation. The Jacob's trouble. That means they are seeking, searching anything else. They have not asked, seek for forgiveness that God has forgiven. You cannot save yourself. Only by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of Jesus' blood, you can be saved. Okay? Then, when you have... Remember David? David was supposed to face punishment, right? For, for what? You, you killing you. Bathsheba, Uriah. Huh? So... God says you choose three. What did he choose? Yeah, he says, yeah, but he chose to be on God's side to face the punishment. So that reminds us when we are in, on God's side, having faith, having love, God says, I will protect you. Do you think it's an easier time to go through than to face directly the seven last plague? Yes, definitely. Definitely. So, our, our issue is don't worry. If God wants you to go through that period, you'll be a privileged group, you know, in heaven. What, what's the difference when you, when you don't face death and go to heaven? No. You are a special group in, in heaven, you know. What group is that called? What happened to your rope? There's a special... Yeah, your rope will be different. Oh, the graduation ground different, eh? <laughs> what is the difference? Cocteau? The white rope is for God. The rope has difference. What is the difference? They have the golden border. What? Golden border. In Mrs. White's writing. Those group, I think it's golden border. I don't remember. Those who are Martha has also a special rope. What? Red border. You know, graduation, you have school of theology, school of uh, different colors there. Eh? So, you want to have the golden border? Oh, ah, you bling 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 every day. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, better be ready. Mm. Okay, it's a privileged group. That group, I think Mrs. White says, replaces the fallen angels. Yeah, the group that did not die when Jesus comes, replaces the fallen angels. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Eleven. False Christ, false prophet. Twenty-three. It says, "Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, 
and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Jesus says, Behold, I have told you before. So what is this different from the first sign? The first sign also has false Christ, right? Second sign has false prophet. What is this period now? What is this period now? After the seven last plague. It says, if it were possible, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Okay? So how? Let, let, let. Who is this false Christ? Satan will impersonate Christ at that point of time. Yeah. Because, remember, he wants worship. What is the best time to get worship for everybody? It's when he has full control of the world. Any other time, there are people who disagree. But when, when that time comes, it's very distinct. Either you are on God's side or you are in the world, Satan's side. So, he wants worship. And he's still not satisfied with the Sabbath keeper. That's why the death penalty comes. Okay? So, Satan will impersonate Christ, speaking wonderful words, so soft, so melodious, healing the sick, casting out demons, and even raising the dead. If you were to go and see... Will you be deceived? Yes. Yes. 100% you'll be deceived. It's so full of man manimous. Huh? How can you say he's a false Christ? He cannot. So, Jesus wants want his people, wants us to do not even go. Do not go and see. So, don't go and see the Pope. Ah? September 11th, don't go and see. <laughs> we are not talking about Pope. Ah? We are talking about false Christ. Hope you can go and see. <laughs> yeah. So, at that point of time, the eleventh sign, Satan will impersonate Christ, and there will be false prophets. Who are the false prophets? America, the Vatican's, and other prophets. They say, "Hey, we got sign that he is the Messiah. He is what you are looking for. There will be one thousand years of peace." Yeah. Make sense? Sequential, huh? 26. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert. Megan, you want to go there? Behold, he is in the desert. No. Behold, he is in the secret chamber. Believe it not. Once you go and see, you'll be deceived. I have this experience uh, uh, with the Pentecostal Church. My good friend, my best friend in school, uh, his father is a Pentecostal pastor in Kuala Lumpur. So he always invited me, hey, please come to my church, please come to my church. Finally, I went to his church. Because that time, a teenager... Wow, talk about Holy Spirit, la, speaking in tongues. La. Is it biblical? It's biblical. But depends on what tongue you are speaking. Yeah, it's biblical. Doing miracles, is it biblical? Yes. 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 Healing the sick, casting out demons, biblical. This is a big movement in the Christian church. So, so I went. And I got a shock. I knew the speaking in tongue is very messy. But I still got a shock. But I felt the spirit. 
Wow, the spirit is very strong, you know, very conducive. Want to attract you to be there, even though I'm my eyes is very scared of what I saw. My heart. So this is what it means. Don't go. The minute you go, the whole atmosphere is different. It will be influence. For whosoever, wheresoever the carcass is, there will be eagles to gather together. What does this mean, ah? Don't go after the false Christ, false prophet, which will lead you to death. Whenever there's death, who gathers? The vultures, the eagles. Okay. Four beginnings of the end, which is the 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 gospel shall be preached unto the whole world, then the end will come. And what is the second end? National Sunday Law. What is the third end? The seven last plague. When is the fourth end? Satan impersonate Christ. Four. So that's not the end, ah. Huh? How many more? So there are three final glorious events in 29 to 31. The twelve sign is sun and moon darkened, stars fall, and heaven shaken. 29 it says immediately after the tribulation of those days. What are the tribulation? Seven, Seven last plague. Shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the power of heaven shall be shaken. Why is this necessary? Where is God's people? In the mountains. So when you see the sun darken, the moon darken, the star falling, you know. The first of the final three signs. So you know, it's soon Jesus will come. Then, verse 30, Jesus actually comes. And then shall appear the sign of Son of Man in heaven. From what side? Which side? Coming from where? Coming from where? East side. Where? Mrs. White says exactly from where? Orion. The belt, the Orion. That's where Jesus and the whole heaven will come from there. Started as a, like a feast, black feast. It gets brighter and brighter as it comes. So from the east. All eyes shall see. How can that be possible? Not flattened, nah. <laughs> Yes, we will not go into that in further detail. They already studied. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his the sign number 14, resurrection of the elect. He shall send his angels with great sound of the trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four wings and from one end of the heaven to another. So, did Jesus come and gather the people? Yes. No. No, no, no. Angel, angel. Yeah, be careful. He does not touch this earth. Does he touch the earth? No. No. When he comes in the cloud, he will, he will command his angels. You go and look for the people you are. How many of you know your guardian angel? How many of you know your guardian angel? Ah, how many of you know you have a guardian angel? You don't know him, so you're never thankful to him. Huh? He has not helped you yet. <laughs> ah. 
you know, I'm fat, huh? But my, my roommate, I rented out the room to one young man. He started rollerblading. Do you think I should go rollerblading oh. when I'm... Oh, dangerous, eh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Why are you a young man, ah? <laughs> Uh, ego to try out new things. So uh, I went and get a coat.